happy to share with you some of my ideas, my point of view, some of the historical perspective and some uh, research what been uh, made it in Russia. Uh, and we're happy to have a lot of uh, investigations now about how the athletes can use the floating with a lot of uh, positive shifts in their conditions. And uh, I will try to share with you the information what may not so easy to find uh, sometimes in the internet. And for sure, we should uh, remember from where <laughs> we started our journey about how water can help us uh, to prevent some disease and be healthy. And for sure, it's one of the first uh, study where I've been some presented some ideas about it uh, and uh, I will uh, add the original file as well and uh, one of the next step uh, being that it's start to uh, in historical ways yeah from when we uh, had very good interest about that water is have some cool in some uh, uh, countries in past, yeah, uh, especially in the East, and uh, as a hygienic as well, when we understood that it's very useful in the past centuries uh, for the hygienic purpose and uh, for shifted to the experimental and therapeutic use. And uh, in US, we know this kind of period where it was very rare and then often often and often the usage of the uh, immersion in the baths to prevent some diseases and even uh, some mental diseases but i will happy if you share with me in the chat some more information about it uh, someone i see wrote that it he can't hear me in the chat and do you, uh, please, could you write more about, maybe it's just one person, maybe more. And uh, also please write, is it you can see my presentation as well or not? I see yeah, that someone was right that can hear me good. Please, who couldn't hear me? Ah, they don't know that they need to reset, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes, perfect. And people can see my presentation as well. What I would like uh, to start to share some special data from the 1970s uh, in Russia, uh, in the Special Institute, uh, what's working with the space and uh, astronauts. Uh, people are start to search for special simulation of microgravity to investigate what will be if we will stay in the space for days and months and maybe years. And uh, one of the very uh, useful now uh, special devices being made it. And you can see on the picture that it was like we name it now uh, dry immersion where the Passing can be in the water, but because of the special fiber, elastic, and well, this is fiber can absorb the water from the human body, but prevent the out water come and prevent the skin to be too wet and with all of uh, problems afterwards. And uh, the after immediately after when this device been made it it start uh, a lot of investigation because of um, before it was not so easy to to be so uh, to find the way so intensely uh, 
present the microgravity in the earth before it was on this uh, like name it bed rest when the people are being laying down on the bed with six minus six uh, degree of the position of their head and uh, the 21 days in the bed rest it's like uh, three days in the microgravity simulation when it's dry immersion. It means this buff is seven times stronger when, than the just laying down on the bed. Yeah, even with a, when your head is below the legs, with a six degrees. And uh, I would like to share with you some uh, step by step some effects of it that we all together is known what we can share with the, uh, our clients, that they will understood uh, how useful it can be, how uh, all, uh, how many uh, investigations been made it in all, all over the world. And mostly uh, it's five, seven days and people are spent in this buff, but for sure the Russians are made the the longest investigation, 56 days with two volunteers and uh, mostly to, to really show that, that it's normal, that it's people uh, for sure reduce their adaptations for the normal gravity vector, like G-loading, but with a um, understanding that it's not so crucial for their health and uh, for this, uh, we start the next uh, investigations, what's made it not so uh, long time ago. And always uh, in the investigators, they concentrated on the effects of it. Yeah, they try to understand what the main effects that uh, the dry immersion is make so intensively changed in the body uh, during the dry immersion. And I look for the chat, yeah, people are writing, it's good. And one of the reasons why so many changes are happens, it's a hydrostatic compression, what happens when we under the water, and as well when we under the special tissue, what's you can see on the picture the one of the tests what participants made like to control the something in the aerospace station to connect to each other to different uh, spaceships and uh, for sure the uh, very intensively uh, changes in the cardiovascular system have uh, very start to be very interested for the uh, investigators and they looked for the different parameters and I would like to show you one of the investigation what made in 2004 where the you can see the heart rate diastolic blood pressure and stroke volume during before during and after the dry immersion and uh, you can see that the immersion was 20, 240 minutes. And uh, immediately after the person being in the dry immersion, heart rate, diastolic blood pressure and stroke volume start to react. And we can see that stroke volume is increased and maintained during the first two hours of dry immersion and same like diastolic blood pressure and heart rate, but on opposite direction, heart rate is decreased. Expect the first, some of the first uh, 10 minutes by its first reaction. And we see as well the controversial for diastolic blood pressure when the heart rate is increased, diastolic blood pressure is decreased more intensively. And some of uh, the uh, effects of it being investigated in different uh, resources, different researchers. 
uh, and all of them is take into account that uh, the uh, vascular perfusion during the tri immersion is very uh, increased and start to be a redistribution of uh, fluid in the body and uh, it's very helpful for the a lot of uh, disease what we have and uh, the some of the Russian investigators working with uh, the pregnancy woman who had the uh, problems with the fluid in the legs and it's very helpful to have this regularly dry immersion buffs what helps for lymphatic system to start working more intensively and reduce the fluid in the legs. As well, uh, it decreases sympathetic nervous activity and it supports the reduce of stress in general, what we know from the uh, speeches from the last conference. It's, if we look deeper, we know that it's uh, start to suppress the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. And in terms of when we see this, for sure, it's increased the arterial nutritic appetite and then decrease vasomotor tone. And in the end of what, what we can see as an outcome of all of these uh, systems, it's very high diuresis. What's uh, as well can uh, very helpful for some kind of diseases when we know that patient has problem with kidney or it's a problem with hypodynamia or some uh, diseases like diabetes or uh, others. And uh, in Russia, we use dry immersion in the clinic to help them to help the patient uh, and support them regularly uh, to reduce the treatment and drugs what they use because of the uh, shifting of the uh, fluid as well can affect the concentration and affect the effects of the some, some, some of the drugs. And uh, I like this uh, human physiology in aquatic environment review, where we can see the all steps, what can happen step by step when we go under the water. And uh, we see that it's very, very understandable from the physics when we have the hydrostatic pressure and it's increased and especially when we know that the person is mostly, uh, the legs are even start uh, placed deeper under the water, that it's even more uh, uh, pressed than the upper body. And all of this is come to the very good blood flow and oxygen uptake in the upper body and the and uh, give us the very good outcome. And what uh, will be if we look for the, not only cardiovascular changes, but if we look for the uh, changes in the muscle, and especially we know that microgravity can intensively damage the muscle, can reduce uh, in, in terms of damage, I mean the reduce the strength, reduce the muscle mass because of uh, there is no load in the space. And uh, we often can see some videos and pictures from the space station where our astronauts need to do some exercises to prevent this reducing. But that's only when we, uh, when we talk about very long-term microgravity exposure or very long-term uh, exposure in the dry immersion. What's about very fast, very short, uh, 
what's more interest for us. And there you can see the one of the investigation where the, we try to understand the difference in tonus of the muscle. Uh, and I would like to start with a spine muscle, the longissimus dorsi, in, and we placed the sensor on the lower back of the human body, and one for the right, one for the left, and uh, that's this with a special device what can press on the muscle and then analyze the resonance what's happened afterwards and to this understand the tonus. How it been organized the three days and one days before immersion and then during the first hour and during the fourth, fifth, fourth hour and 40 minutes afterwards been registered the resonance vibrography. What been in results? You can see in the percentage of reducing the stiffness in comparison with uh, background values, what we analyzed before. You can see that even in the first hour, it's uh, already the highest level of reducing the tonus of this back muscles. And even for the, uh, you can see for the left side and right side have the same uh, situation. And during the four hours as well, and 40 minutes afterwards, we still have some shift, depends of the very depends of the person. And this is as well being very depends of the person because of one of the person have some lower back pain, what's make effect for the uh, results of this investigation. But general, uh, we can say that it's immediately, the body is immediately react and immediately reduce the tonus of the muscle. What happened with uh, the other muscles? What's uh, had name like gravitational muscle, what we use um, a lot during the day, what uh, presented now in this graph. And uh, we will talk about the tibialis anterior, the front of the calf, and we will talk about the gastrocnemicus, gastrocnemius lateralis and medialis, and as well the under gastrocnemius, we can find the solus, what's a special muscle of our body, which as well controls the tonic and uh, vertical position of our self during the day. What will happen if we will place our person into the dry immersion and it will be the hours and as well days during the immersion. We can see that uh, the tibialis anterior, who is present as a flexor of this joint, it's not affected so much during the first days. But our extensors, what's mostly working during the day, say immediately affected during even the first hour and already on the second hour had the main uh, and uh, start after two, so after second hour already on the plateau, uh, main effect on the decreasing their stiffness. It's very, very uh, useful for us to know it, to understand that uh, the recovery and relaxation is coming so intensively and so fast. And uh, as well, the, uh, we trying to uh, understood why this uh, so dramatic and so fast changes are happens. And for this purpose, we start to do the other investigation. Uh, 
where we try to uh, analyze the whole system, what uh, give us these dramatic changes. And one of the hypotheses being that it's uh, because of we losing the support of our loading, because of we have the special sensors inside of our feet, what give us the always feedback information about how we are standing or we are walking or we are running. And without this information, it starts to immediately inactivation of different ways and also in the local uh, muscle and immediately start atonia, which means reducing the tonus very, very intensively. And during the some rough legs in the spinal muscles as well in the spindle, we have this loop, which again start to reduce even more the tonus. To really uh, identify this system and to show that it's uh, uh, had the really impact on the uh, my on these effects to reducing the tonus and muscle mass, it been created the special devices what can prevent this situation and uh, it been made it the special boots what you can wear and inside of these boots in placed the river balls what can create the situation where you feel that you're walking or running even during when you are in the absolutely laying down in the dry immersion bath and this is was specially placed in the areas where a lot of the Walter Pacini capsules what give us the information about the effect of the gravity, effect of the running and uh, standing. They are very, very, they are placed very, very deep in our skin. That's why it's not so easy to uh, uh, activate them. That's why it's very intense, you can see. And in results, the, all of the effects related with the reducing the muscle tonus and muscle mass being prevented with this device. What's also, if we say not only about the muscle systems, I would like to show you that we have uh, the interest investigation where the newborn infants being placed as well in the dry immersion with a positive effects on their immune system. It was the patient of the clinics. We were very, uh, we were not, not, not really a uh, normal situation before. We were some infections in, uh, in the beginning and during pregnancy and just after burns. And we can also look for the data and uh, from the one of the uh, speech in the last conference about the moon system and floating. We can look more about these parameters. And uh, in general, I would like to say that it was very helpful for the kids and start very useful in the Russian clinics and reduced the neonatal infection diseases. As well, uh, we have some of the uh, clinics who worked with a tri immersion to help kids with a cerebral palsy to reduce to reduce to reduce their uh, sparsity because of the uh, it's it's very helpful and uh, you can see what happens when the kids are placed in the dry immersion and for me the one of idea behind this 
as I told, um, I would like to share, it was for sure from USSR, from aerospace, where the cosmonaut being presented in the water and for a long time, and they trying to uh, find the effects of the airspace. And it's so uh, easy to manipulate with this. That's why some investigations as well, they made it with kids with a good effects on their muscle system and nervous system. And uh, as well, uh, some investigation and the one of the last part, it's effect of dry immersion or neurological symptoms in Parkinson's. And uh, I will share with you the articles in my uh, place where I can put the file. I will, after my uh, speech, will put all files there with my presentation and others. And uh, this is a, one of the scale for you can, where you can measure the uh, different uh, important parameters, what's related with a Parkinson's disease. And you can see that uh, prayer and during the special sessions, each uh, session has been 45 minutes long, just two times a week. And it's already have a very good effect during even on the seventh session. And uh, I would like to say that if uh, we can share it with our clients, that pregnancy woman, that newborn infant, that uh, people with a disease like Parkinson would like to use and have very good effect during the dry immersion, it means that the, our normal clients can use it as well. And for sure, they don't need to be afraid of to use the floating sensor decoration system, because of we know that it has even more effect uh, on our body, on our uh, systems than the dry immersion. You can find as well the more information on the European Space Agency, what's as well in Toulouse use the dry immersion to investigate some things. And in the last, what I wanted to say that uh, the training start to be more and more polarized. And it's one of the trend now that uh, we can as a fun take from the past. Like we, if we see that it intensity of physical activities, it means that it was period when we was need to run from the, I don't know, some very dangerous animals or to kill some animals, or we just collected some things. And this is a name to polarized training model where the athletes is trained very intense, low time and relaxed, uh, or use the very low intensity. And I think the next chapter is, should be that we need to add the floating to this time to make a more polarized sprint or a more polarized training system for our athletes where they no need to think, I am, is it I am already recovered or not before to start the new training session. They need to use the really extreme ways of the recovery to be sure that they are very well recovered. And in Russia, I would like to say that some clients ask us why I never hear about float before. And I just think that we not have any aggressive advertising because we're floating so regularly that we are very, very relaxed. And for some clients, for sure, one of the main 
topic. And one of the reasons to start To start our journey. If Simpsons start to use it, we can use it as well. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.